Blackberry.com. So you're going to see uh, several different demonstrations this morning of the playbook in, in a variety of different configurations. And so what I really wanted to spend a little bit of time on is just showing you some of the basics about the device, some of the things that, that you know, uh, will be taken for granted in some of the other aspects. So as you can tell here, we've got a very simple kind of navigator. Uh, we've got the, again, very kind of crisp, easy way to be able to you know, move between all the different applications and we can actually go back and have them kind of graphically pop up. So very simple and easy to do and again, scrolling is, is very simple up and down and, and easy to use. So if we actually go and check out the photo app, you'll be able to see some of the, the crispness of the screen and, and you know, to be honest, as much as this is a, an HD camera here in the audience uh, that you see, it doesn't actually do this screen justice and I, and I encourage you to check it out at the booth and, and see that. So you can see here we've got again very kind of you know, easy and, and simple maneuvers but also very kind of you know, reactive touch events. You can see that you're very easy to kind of control what's going on. We can actually go in and if we take a look, you know, multi-touch. Uh, as Greg mentioned, you know, you've got four finger touch to be able to manipulate the device. So you can actually have you know, full control of, of what's actually happening here on the screen. So let's leave the photo app in the background. We're going to come back to that in a little minute. Uh, we'll actually go and check out a video on the device here as well. Uh, and, if, and of course, you, you have the opportunity to, to check out the sound. I'm not going to pipe the sound just, just to make it easy for me uh, and for you to hear me, but you, believe me that this has full sound. So you can see that we have the video playing, again, very crisp, very clean. Uh, and what's really interesting is that, again, you've got full multitasking. So we can see the video actually playing in the background at the same time as the other applications. And in fact, what's interesting is that you can... Yeah, that would go. That's better. Thank you. We're not even at the good part yet. So, so you can see here, you can hear, you probably can't hear, but that, the video is actually playing in the background right now. Um, but we're, we're sitting here in the, in the picture of the parrot. And we can actually slide, slide swipe from the other applications to move. And so you can see us actually going in and out of these applications, or we can you know, actually see the, the actual applications in the task switcher. Okay, very simple, very easy to use. Let's, we'll, kill the, we'll kill the video player and we'll actually go into the camera here. And the reason I want to show you the camera is not so much you know, that I'm going to take a picture, but I want to give you an idea of, of what's possible with the camera. So you can see here, obviously, it's black, and that's because the camera's on the back. Um, so now I can take a picture of all of you, of course, but uh, I'll, I'll save yourselves. But what I really wanted to show is also the fact that you can show uh, the front camera. So this is probably a view you don't get at many shows, but <laughs> hi. Uh, <laughs> nice lights up above. Uh, what you can also do is you can switch back and forth between the camera and the video camera very simply and easily right within the same application. And I can click that button and we can start recording, you know, again, a, a video of, of this application. So, you know, very easy to use and what, what's unique is that you'll actually be able to start capturing both the, the front and back camera uh, at the same time within your applications if you wanted to, to you know, capture those video feeds. So one of the other things I wanted to show you was the browser, not because um, I want to show you the functionality of the browser. We're going to have a, a keynote speaker who's going to do a really great job of that. Uh, what I wanted to show you uh, was, was the, the ability to type. So what a lot of people have you know, really wondered is how easy is it to type on this product? And so you see a lot of people with tablets today, so they'll sit here and they'll be like, okay, I'm going to type. I'm going to you know, sit here. And, and you know, again, it types, it types pretty easily, right? But you get a nice multi-touch, I can just hold that down and it goes back. What's really nice about a seven inch tablet platform is that I can actually sit here uh, with the product like this in both hands and I can actually type uh, with both my thumbs just like you would on a Blackberry and, and, and do it quite fast. Um, so if we actually go and, and switch over and, and have a look at our, at our developer website, um, you can actually see how easy it is for me to actually type and, and do all of that. So very simple and easy to do and what you can actually do is you can actually bring up the, the keyboard from the bottom left at any time and then make it disappear if you, if you don't want it to be on the screen. So kind of full control over the states and how that works and you can see that, that the web page loaded without any trouble. So very easy and very simple to use. Um, now this is perhaps the most exciting part for me. So as we've mentioned this is going to support OpenGL 2.0. And, and what's exciting about OpenGL is, of course, the richness and the graphics and the experience that we've got. And so what the vendor of, uh, of the, the chip manufacturer that we're using is actually built out some very simple OpenGL graphics uh, to showcase what's possible on the chipset and the platform. So you can see here a very kind of simple uh, globe of the earth spinning around and then shading because of that. So we go down, we can actually, we'll start up another one. So we'll start up one that uh, showcases flowers. And again, remember that I've got the other one running in the background. 
Okay, so this one's also building flowers as, as part of what it's doing, and we'll come back to that one in a second. Uh, and then you've got this one called Shader View, which is actually pictures in the background, and then Windows will actually move across those pictures and actually change it. So you can actually see in, in real time uh, that that's shading. Now, here's what's really impressive. You can't find a platform that does that. Three applications all running sophisticated OpenGL graphics at the same time with no degradation in performance. And again, you can move across all of these and you can see them moving you know, seamlessly and simply without any change in the actual applications. And if that isn't enough for you, just for a little bit of fun, we're going to give you a taste of some of the types of things you can expect, I think, from a gaming perspective in terms of what's going to be possible on this platform. I've had one of the guys on my team actually spend a little bit of time porting over the existing Quake engine, and you can see that running again in parallel at 50, 60 frames per second while the other applications are also still running in the background. Very impressive. So, we're not done with Playbook yet, but I am. And one of the things that I wanted to actually give you an opportunity to show you is that as we go through the technical keynotes, I'm going to be coming back in and out to showcase and really establish you know, what we're building and, and what these people who are going to showcase the tools and technologies can help you with and how you can leverage them as experts throughout the rest of the show. And so what I want to do now is I want to showcase the power and flexibility of the Adobe tools and, and the great partnership, as Greg mentioned, that we have with Adobe today to really showcase the power of what we're building with Adobe on our platform and how great it is to be able to build Air applications.